Have you ever looked at a Pokemon and thought that it could learn a specific move, but then it turns out that it couldn't? For example, Charizard couldn't learn Fly in Red and Blue, Lickitung, the licking Pokemon, couldn't learn Lick in Gen 1, Flareon couldn't learn Flare Blitz until Gen 6, Kecleon couldn't learn Camouflage until Gen 6, and many more. Of course, all these Pokemon eventually got these moves. However, there are still many instances of Pokemon not being able to learn a move that you think it definitely should. Which is why I'm going to go over 15 instances of Pokemon not being able to learn a specific move, or moves, when really, there's close to no good reason why they shouldn't be able to learn it. So let's get started. Number 1. Zangoose can't learn cut. What the f***? Arch Claw's not sharp enough? I mean, it can learn Scratch, it can learn Fury Cutter, it can learn Slash, Crush Claws, False Wipe, X Scissor, it can even learn Swords Dance, but it can't learn Cut. But do you know what Pokemon can learn Cut? Frickin' Diglett and Dugtrio. What the hell is this? What are they using to cut with? In fact, Diglett and Dugtrio can also learn Scratch, Slash, and Aerial Ace. And did I mention Zangus can't learn Cut? Number 2. Snorlax can't learn Slack Off. This would make more sense if Slack Off stayed as a move that only the slacking line can learn, but it's not. The description of the move is that the user slacks off to restore its own HP. What is Snorlax best known for doing? Slacking off. Maybe not as much as slacking, but more so than the other Pokemon that can learn Slack Off, like Slowbro and Chimchar. Number 3. Ferrothorn can't learn Spiky Shield. Again, if this move stayed exclusive to Chestnut, it would be fine. But in Aurask, both Cacturn and Maraxxus got access to it. This is fine, but if they got Spiky Shield, why not Ferrothorn? In fact, I could probably argue that Spiky Shield looks more like a move that was made for Ferrothorn rather than Chestnut. Ferrothorn's Pokedex entries go on about how spiky it is. And even its primary ability is Iron Barbs, which does damage to Pokemon that make contact with Ferrothorn. If it can learn Protect, surely the Spiky Grass Ball should be able to learn Spiky Shield as well. Number 4. Zekrom can't learn Earthquake. Now I guess this move isn't as bad as the other moves mentioned, but I do think it makes more sense for Zekrom being able to learn Earthquake rather than not being able to, especially when Pokemon like Politoed, Dusclops, and Sfeel can learn it. Zekrom has a giant bulky legendary, surely it should be able to shake the ground just a bit. I mean, just imagine how embarrassed Zekrom must be to know that it can't cause an Earthquake, yet Dunsparce can. Number 5. Venusaur can't learn Sludge Wave. To be honest, I kind of expect Pokemon that can learn Sludge Bomb to be able to learn Sludge Wave. Gengar is another Pokemon that can't learn Sludge Wave, but there is an event Gengar that was released that does have Sludge Wave on it. Sludge Wave is even a TM, and Venusaur still can't learn it, but non-poison types like the Genies can learn Sludge Wave. Weird. Number 6. Diancy can't learn Power Gem. Oh, come on. The user attacks with a rare light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. Are you kidding me? Carbink can learn Power Gem, so surely Diancy should be able to. Help, frickin' Vespaquin can learn Power Gem! But Diancy, a Pokemon with a glimmering body that possesses a dress-like structure made of pink gems, can't learn Power Gem. That makes no sense. Number 7. Regigigas can't learn Protect or Rest. This is a kind of weird one. Protect and Rest are basically universal moves that almost every Pokemon gets. But Regigigas is the only Pokemon that can learn TMs that can't learn either of these two. Moves you could argue it desperately needs. According to Bulbapedia, the reason Regigigas can't learn Protect or Rest is probably to prevent people from countering its own ability by avoiding damage or healing itself. So basically the reason why Regigigas can't learn either of these moves is so that Game Freak can screw it over as much as possible. Wow, someone who works on Pokemon must really hate Regigigas. Number 8. Infernape can't learn Drain Punch. Now there are other fighting types also unable to learn Drain Punch like Blaziken, but Infernape makes more sense to learn it because its hidden ability is Iron Fist, an ability that boosts the power of punching moves. So surely a Pokemon with this ability should be able to learn as many punching moves as possible. Infernape also can't learn Ice Punch, but that makes more sense since Infernape is a fire type, kind of like how ice types like Lapras can't learn Scold. But why not Drain Punch? Come on, if frickin' Shroomish can learn Drain Punch, surely a Kung Fu Monkey that shares a type with the move that has an ability specifically for punching moves should be able to learn it as well. Number 9. Scrafty can't learn Beat Up or Sucker Punch. Scrafty is the Hoodlum Pokemon, Hoodlum being a thug usually in a group of misfits associated with crime or theft. Beat Up has the user get all party Pokemon to attack the foe. This move has Hoodlum written all over it. A Sucker Punch is a blow made without warning, another thing you'd expect from what Scrafty is based on. But Scrafty can't learn them because... Come on, there are fairy types that can learn these moves, but Scrafty can't? Number 10. 
Helioptan Helolisk can't learn Discharge. They can pretty much learn all the other special electric moves, including Parabolic Charge, which is pretty similar to Discharge, being an electric move that strikes all opponents. But why aren't they able to learn Discharge? In fact, every electric type except Zekrom, Helioptal, and Helolisk can learn Discharge. If a rock can learn Discharge, then there's no reason why an electric lizard shouldn't be able to. Number 11. The Blade can't learn Exorcism. It also can't learn Guillotine, but a Pokemon with no guard as an ability shouldn't be able to learn a Noko move anyway. Exorcism would be perfect for the Blade. It even makes the X shape. Exorcism is a bug move, but there are non-bug types that are able to learn it like Sceptile, Pangoro, and as I said before, Zangoose. The user slashes at the foe by crossing its sides or claws as if they were a pair of scissors. What, so the Blade doesn't count because it's a pair of swords rather than a pair of sides or claws? So what, do Sceptile's leaves and its Scavalier's arms count as scythes then? Number 12. Raihorn can't learn Tackle. It can learn Tackle in the anime, but not the games. I bring this up because Raihorn's Pokedex entries seem to enjoy reminding us of how powerful its tackles are. This Pokemon can shatter even a Skyscraper with its charging tackles. Mmm, yes. But it's okay, Raihorn doesn't need Tackle, because instead it gets moves like Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Blizzard, and when it evolves, Surf! Number 13. Heatran can't learn Eruption. It's the Lava Dome Pokemon. It's most likely based on volcanic remains. Its steel typing apparently references how the Earth's inner core is made of solid metal. But it can't learn Eruption? Hell, you even find it in Diamond and Pearl in a volcano! Only a small amount of Pokemon can learn Eruption, and I honestly think Heatran should join that group. Wait a minute. You can get Heatran with Eruption. Obtained with Pokemon Ranger. It's event only. So it still can't learn Eruption through leveling up or Egg Move or Tutor. Well that sucks! Number 14. Latias and Latios can't learn Flamethrower or Fire Blast. They can learn Ice Beam and Thunderbolt and even Solar Beam, but no Fire Moves. Apart from Sunny Day, but that doesn't count. Most dragons are able to learn fire moves, which makes sense since that's what dragons are quite commonly known for doing. There are some other dragons that don't know Flamethrower or Fire Blast, but that makes sense because Kingdra and Palkia are water types. Wait a minute. Palkia can learn both Flamethrower and Fire Blast. Hell, frickin' Slowpoke can learn both Flamethrower and Fire Blast. But the Latties can't. They can learn all these elemental moves, but for some reason, fire attacks are a no-go. And finally, number 15. The Pidgey line the Starly line, and the Pidoff line, can't learn Peck. I repeat, the Pidgey line, the Starly line, and the Pidoff line, can't learn Peck. So let me get this straight. Goldeen, Piloswine, Maractus, Carablast, Inke, Seal, and Togepi? can learn peck, but these birds can't. What the f- There are still many Pokemon I could have covered, and maybe I will do so in the future, as well as possibly going over the opposite, looking at Pokemon that do learn moves that arguably they shouldn't do. So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Pokemon videos in the future. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.